Creating and encouraging an enthusiasm for preserving our environment is the mission of the DEP's Youth Environmental Program. The group holds several events each year, including the Youth Environmental Conference, held recently in Flatwoods. As the DEP's Tom Aloise reports, it's a learning experience that's fun too. They come from all over the state, groups of students and their advisors for a weekend of environmental awareness. We do like adopt a highway with my 4-H club and stuff like that and I think that's really interesting. The program works with existing youth groups throughout the state, 4-H, scout troops, church, school and civic groups, all with an interest in preserving our environment. The theme for the Youth Environmental Conference is sustaining West Virginia's natural resources and we've kind of incorporated that theme throughout the, the conference agenda. That theme showed up starting in the early sessions that began with crafts made from recycled materials and watershed demonstrations called Enviroscapes. It's a pretty informal part of the conference and gives everyone a chance to mingle and meet new people. The evening session featured a talk on sustainable agriculture and the importance of working with nature. I've definitely learned a lot of facts and scenarios and the difference in um, good landfills and bad ones and just how we can make farming a very successful thing without stripping nature. Saturday's session started with an early morning bus ride and a trip to Ron Hinkle Glassworks in Buckhannon. Students got a chance to see how recycling plays an important part in the making of these works of art. From there, students traveled to the West Virginia Wildlife Center in French Creek to get an up-close look at some of the animals that call West Virginia home. And then it was on to Fishhawk Acres in Rock Cave for a look at sustainable agriculture in action and the importance of local foods. It's important for us to learn about the environment, to teach the kids about the environment so that they can take an interest and start doing things that would preserve it and keep it um, viable and growing and sustaining for future generations. In Flatwoods, I'm Tom Aloise for Environment Matters. As you've seen in several of our stories, education and outreach is a big part of what we do here at the Department of Environmental Protection. Several different divisions within the agency have interactive displays and demonstrations that we often take on the road to events, like Earth Day and recent Boy Scout National Jamboree at the Summit Bechtel Reserve in Fayette County. We recently had them all on display right here at the DEP headquarters in Charleston with roughly 800 employees and dozens of different divisions. It was a chance for everyone to see what folks and other groups were doing and exchange ideas. The two-day event was put together by the Public Information Office. You know, anytime you do a painting job around the house, there's almost always at least a little bit of paint left over. And that's where Habitat for Humanity of Kanawha and Putnam Counties can be a big help. The group partnered recently with the DEP's REAP program to hold a latex paint recycling collection event for the employees here at DEP. Over two days, we collected more than 200 gallon containers of paint it's a great way to get rid of unused paint in an environmentally responsible manner, and it benefits the community too. This is something that we just started last year, and we encourage people in our community when they have leftover latex paint to donate it to the Habitat Restore. We then check it, strain it, remix it, and produce new recycled paint that we then sell to the general public. We sell it at a very discounted price, and the money that's raised from the sale of paint also goes towards the construction of Habitat for Humanity Homes. If you have a garage full of half-empty paint cans, you can drop them off for recycling at the Habitat Restore here in Charleston. The program accepts latex paint only. They're not able to recycle oil-based paint at this time. You can find out more by calling the Restore at 304-720-USE. Coming up, the entries are in and we have a winner, 12 of them to be exact.